go yeah. to uh, Olga Osmino so she could tell us yeah. more about what we've been discussing, Olga. Yeah, uh, earthquake and, of course, uh, the big storm. Hillary already bringing us uh, plenty of rain uh, through the day, and we are just getting to the point where we are feeling the brunt of the storm. Some moderate to heavy rain, a pretty widespread, and this is going to continue still for several more hours into the night. want to show you because we do also have the flash flood warnings across uh, parts of LA, Ventura, as well as the Inland Empire, all of us being impacted, as well as parts of Orange County. So where you see those yellows, that indicates more of that moderate rain, and we are seeing a lot of that. Again, we'll continue feeling that through the day into the night. As we head into parts of the IE, we're seeing that flash flood warning as well into tonight. And as we head a little bit uh, further west into uh, parts of uh, the beaches, uh, Garden Grove, Huntington Beach, we're seeing some light to moderate rain across those areas and still seeing some moderate to heavy rain for the Santa Clarita Valley, parts of Ventura County. Of course, in Ventura, we just had that earthquake just a short while ago. So here's a look at what is next in your forecast at the brunt of the storm right now into late tonight and even the very early hours of Monday. Some moderate to heavy rain, heaviest in the mountains, six to 10 inches of rain. Again, all of this in a very short amount of time, and that's leading to the danger of flash flooding. Again, we had flash flood warnings across much of our region. The strongest winds also into tonight, so we're seeing the strongest winds across uh, some of our deserts into the mountains, but really all of us out through the Inland Empire Valley is also seeing gusts in the 30, 40, 50 mile per hour range. I'll take you through our future cast and show you what to expect as we head into later tonight. Again, this is one of the areas uh, that's seeing some of the strongest, heaviest rain as we head into the 6 o'clock hour. So in just about a couple of hours, very heavy rain rain across the San Bernardino Riverside County Mountains up into the San Gabriel's as well. As you can see through parts of Orange County also seeing some moderate to heavy rain and into Ventura County as well. So all of us being impacted into tonight. Once again, Ventura into the San Gabriel's and also the San Bernardino County Mountains still seeing some moderate to heavy rain. And then by late tonight, we're starting to see a little bit of clearing. So some of us out through parts of LA into Orb C, we're looking at drier conditions as well as parts of Ventura and then still more of that moderate to heavy rain across some of those higher elevations. As you wake up on Monday morning, Here's the story. So 7 a.m. and we're still seeing some light rain, but much calmer than what we are feeling today. In fact, some of us will wake up to some dry conditions, uh, cloudy skies, and then still some cloud cover lingering through the late morning hours. And then things really start to clear out, even some sunshine on Monday by the afternoon and uh, temperatures still going to be warm. So it's going to be another very humid day. We're going to have a lot of that tropical moisture still with us and uh, the winds uh, this is another big part of the equation. We're starting to see those winds pick up at the moment and still continuing strong as we head into the next several hours. So some of the strongest winds, look at this, Laguna Beach, nearly 50 mile per hour gust as we head into the 5 o'clock hour. Nearly 60 mile per hour gust through Carlsbad, Lakeland Village, out through places like Big Bear. So 50, 60 mile per hour gusts, especially through those mountain areas. And a lot of us being impacted out through Ventura, Santa Clarita Valley, Lancaster, Lake Los Angeles, uh, Big Bear once again nearly 60 mile per hour gusts as we head into late tonight. And look at this by 11:45 p.m. where you see those purples that indicates gusts in that 50 to 60 mile per hour range. So especially those higher elevations, feeling those strongest winds, but a lot of us being impacted even as we head near coastal areas. Look at that for Orange County, we are seeing those very dangerous gusts late tonight and then early tomorrow morning. Things Things start to calm down for most of us, and uh, we'll continue to see those weakening winds uh, throughout the day on Monday. So that is the good news there. But again, we still have several more hours to go through for this extreme amount of rain that we are looking at as uh, Hillary continues to push to the north. Right now, the latest indication winds at 60 miles per hour and it will continue to reach us. The core of that is going to be arriving to us Olga. as we head into later tonight. So we'll continue tracking Hillary for you and uh, those gusts as well as all the rain. Back all to you right. guys.